Hi guys, so today I have a review video for you, which is something I haven't done for ages. I asked you guys on my Facebook page which review you would like to see, and loads of you said hair chalk, so I'm gonna do a hair chalk review. A few weeks ago, I posted a little picture on Instagram of me and my sister before we went to see McBusted, and we had awesome hair chalk creations going on in our hair and I'll pop the photo in now and um, after that uh, you guys have asked me to review some hair chalk and show you how it works. So what I did was I popped to Urban Outfitters because I wanted to get some hair chalk that was from a, um, a place where people in different countries can hopefully find it. I know that Urban Outfitters have stores in a few different countries so I didn't just want to get it from like one place where you might not be able to find it say if you're watching in America or somewhere else. So, went to Urban Outfitters and I picked up two hair chalks. So here they are. Um, these are a little bit special and the reason I bought them is because I just thought they were a really clever design. So I've got a blue one and a, ooh, they're upside down. I've got a blue one and a pink one. And as you can see, they are embedded in a little bit of like a comb. And when Steph and I were doing our hair chalk, um, the ones that we used were actually also from Urban Outfitters, but they were in like a little ball and they were like a little dome and you ran it through your hair and it kind of got a little bit messy. So when I saw these that are in the, the comb, I thought that's an amazing idea to kind of keep the hair chalk in a straight line as you go down your hair. So immediately I thought they were awesome. They were six pounds each, so they're a little bit pricey, but then I guess if you just wanted to add some color to your hair for like a night or a couple of days, then it's not a bad investment. It's much better than dyeing your hair permanently if that was gonna be a problem for you in terms of work or school or whatever. Um, although I have to say that I do think it's kind of ridiculous that you can't have different colored like hair, like blue or pink at school and things like that, because how does it affect your learning? Who knows? So let's take these out of the packets. Okay, so here they are. I'm gonna do like a live review and demonstration as I go along. So let's start with the pink one. So open it out and it looks to have, um, ah, okay, you can pull the tray out here and it's got like um, a protective um, plastic bit. So I'm gonna peel the plastic off from the back. Okay, there we go, the plastic is off. So I'm now gonna slide it back into the little comb here does it click? Okay, I've done it. I was just being stupid and putting it up instead of just in. So, okay, that's the pink one, all ready to go. Let me take the blue one out of this little package. Okay, so they're ready to go for my demonstration. The first thing I do want to say about hair chalks is I obviously have blonde hair and any bold colour will always transfer better onto lighter coloured hair. So it is worth bearing in mind that if you have darker coloured hair, then you might need to apply more of the chalk to get the same effect. So that is worth bearing in mind. Um, so hopefully it's gonna look good on my blonde hair here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two stripes, one at the front, one pink and one blue. Let me start with the blue. So let me just have a look at the instructions. It says comb into strands of hair to achieve the desired look. So I guess you just literally hold this handle here, grab your section of hair, and just comb it through. Okay, so let's have a go. I'm gonna place it right at the top. I'm gonna to look in my mirror down here. So if I'm looking at a strange angle, that's why. So place it in at the top, wiggle it into the roots. Ooh. Okay, not much color so far. Let me wiggle it in further before I pull it down. Okay, we're getting there now, I see. So you need to really wiggle it into your hair before you start to pull it down. That's where I've been going wrong. So you need to shove the thing down. This is definitely the best one I've tried yet. It's so bold already and I've only done a few little swipes and also, it's so good that it doesn't make any mess. Like, if I, when I did it before with the, the ball, there was kind of mess all over and like my bathroom floor is kind of pink, so uh, not great. So this is doing well so far. Let me keep going for a few seconds.
Okay, so there's the blue done. That gets a huge thumbs up from me. I'm super impressed. And also it's kind of like combed my hair out as well, so there's no sort of weird like ruched up bits and things like that, which was also a problem with the ball of chalk. So loving the blue, let's move on to the pink. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna take a little section of hair at the front here. I've got my pink comb, I'm gonna get to work. This is looking so fun. Ah, oh, I love it. I'm going to keep going. I'm just taking some slightly smaller sections and going through to make sure that everything's coated. Okay, I am super impressed with these. I The colour payoff is so bold and so fun. I adore it. These are amazing. They're well worth the money in my opinion. I was really worried that they were going to be a little bit lame and just not live up to expectations at all but I have been absolutely proven wrong. They are so fun for adding just a little bit of colour into your hair just for those nights when you just want to do something a bit different and you don't have to go to like the permanent lengths of doing it more permanently. So amazing for six pounds I mean I've used this so on this whole front section and I've just made like a tiny little dent really there's loads left um so absolutely loving it let's do a test of okay you can see my hands when I'd used the other hair chalks which were the balls my hands were pink absolutely pink and now they're basically there's like tiny little flecks of pink when I've grabbed the sections but mostly not at all. They, this is fab. I'm really, really impressed with these. As you can see, the roots haven't taken much colour. Um, I think that's a mixture of the fact that they're darker and also um, that I didn't really get into the roots as much as I did the length. But I think if you persevered, I think you could kind of get more into the roots and really like rub it on there. But um, I focused more on the length. So so impressed with these and um, what do you guys think let me know um i would love to know what you think of my new little temporary do and um, i will put the link to the urban outfitters website where you can buy these um in a blog post which i'll link right below so just um have a little look on there all the information will be there and photos and whatnot too so I hope you've enjoyed this review. I love doing reviews and when it's got a little demo in as well, it's just even more fun. Also in the blog post below, I'll let you know what happened when I actually washed this out and how well it came out. So um, all of the super kind of up-to-date information will be in there as well. But this is like a first look review and demo. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon.